Hi, Matt Noyce, One Degree Outside Weather Network, OneDegreeOutside.com. This is your weekend insights, that deeper dive into meteorology here, recording on a Friday, designed to carry through the weekend. Look, we're going to be talking about the weekend, lake effect snow, the cool air that's in place, but we're also going to look all the way out to the next system, at least the potentially impactful system, which will be in here on Wednesday night and Thursday, the upcoming week. Total amounts of snow out of this last system, nearly a foot and a half of snow at Mount Holly, Vermont. Look at Bristol, New Hampshire, pick it up 11. Holly, Massachusetts, pick it up nine and a half. A lot of this was with elevation, but Seth and Sunapee grabbed the shot of wintertime uh, arriving to Sunapee. And indeed, that was the case for a lot of folks in northern New England. Thanks for sending that uh, photo in. Please keep them coming. The reports, the photos via the Send to Us tab in our app or at our community gallery of OneDegreeOutside.com. You can see the general snow pattern. It was a lot of northern New England, but particularly with elevation, generally a 6 to 12-inch snow for the elevated spots. Now, as we head into the weekend, the map is pretty quiet for travel. A little bit of light snow possible at St. Louis. The Lee of the Great Lakes is going to be the huge exception to the rest of the country. You can see on Saturday, the highs are very cold across much of the northern tier. Central United States is pretty cool, and highs in the 50s and 60s are really held down to the southern tier of the U.S. Getting into Sunday, again, not a bad day for travel for many, but oof, <laughs> you get in the Lee of the Great Lakes, it is a different story. So let's go ahead and dive in and show you what's going on. First of all, with the cold air spilling down through the Great Lakes and the lake still relatively warm, that can get those lake effect streamers of snow going. Look what they do this evening. Friday evening, they carry through upstate New York and even into parts of southern New England. That's off of Lake Erie. The one off Lake Ontario is going to blast the Tug Hill Plateau, but that continues to come into portions of Vermont so that along the western slopes of the Green Mountains, we will continue to fire up some snow showers during the course of Saturday and for that matter into Sunday as well. They'll generally spray through the central to northern greens with the orientation and the wind the way it will be. But when you get out across portions of upstate New York, this is remarkable. A four to five foot snow getting in the Tug Hill Plateau just through this weekend. A widespread foot and a half to two feet when you get into the streamers that are coming off of Lake Erie. What that means here at home, now you get that coating that may come in Friday evening from the snow showers. We may do a little bit better than that in some of the highest elevation of Berkshire County. When you start coming up the Green Mountains. You've got generally on the order of a good solid inch or two, but there will be spots that pick up three and four. And in the case of when you get around Stowe and Mansfield and run north through Johnson and all the way up to Jay, you may be talking about at least a ribbon of two to four with some of the higher summits picking up even a little bit more than that. And when you get along the main Canadian, main New Hampshire border, we pick up a little bit of additional snow over the course of the weekend as well. As we head into early next week, there is one disturbance that comes through and it's going to swing through here later Monday and Monday night. There is a chance you get a couple of quick snow showers out of that as it comes on by it may pick up some moisture out of the great lakes overall though you're certainly talking about what is a cool pattern and aside from the areas of snow we looked at a dry one hang on for more on the thursday storm let's get through the weekend overnight lows tonight down to the teens where we have snow in the ground 20s for a lot of the rest of us it's a cold night leads you into a cool saturday no question about that colder than normal 30s to lower 40s for highs. You do have a breeze on top of that that's coming to westerly. And as we get into Saturday night, a southwest breeze, but you've still got cold temperatures, right? Sunday, don't expect to get out of the 30s anywhere. I think that's the way it looks for almost everyone with a breeze on top of that. It'll probably feel like about 30 at the warmest time of the day. And Sunday night, a good deep freeze again. So we're getting into this extended pattern where you don't do a whole lot of thawing. You do it during the day, but in some of the shady spots, for example, you're going to see a little skim ice starting to develop in some of the water. And that'll be the case as we get all the way through two Tuesday as well. For the end of the upcoming week, I want to switch over to atmospheric energy. This is what it looks like right now in terms of the energy in yellow and red and orange. Notice when you get south of the Aleutian Islands, you've got a pretty good uh, area of energy in here. It's an upper level storm. Watch what's going to be happening with that over the days to come. This weekend, it starts to make its way up into the coast of Alaska, rounds the bend of a ridge that will be in across the western uh, portions of North America, dives down through western Canada, and it is this energy that arrives to us by the time we get to Wednesday night and Thursday. At this point, it looks like there would be plenty of cold air in place to make it snow rather than rain if you look just off the deck at about 6,000 feet. What I've done here is I've basically colored in any areas that are going to be near or below freezing at 6,000 feet, which is where it's kind of in the lowest layer of the cloud, and notice that on Wednesday into Thursday, okay, we know we're certainly below freezing there. I think the one thing that we'll need to figure out here is going to be just how hard the cold air is going to hold on, because if I plot for you the surface temperature and 
and I'm plotting out areas that are near freezing in dark blue and below freezing in light blue. Well, you're very much in it for the most part, but as you get to that system on Thursday, notice the wind direction. It's out of the south. You're starting to peel back the cold. So yet again, you're not getting this big high pressure dome to lock in the cold air. So what that means is it's going to be a race between the moisture coming in, trying to create snow in parts of southern New England Wednesday night into Thursday, probably Wednesday night, versus that warm air coming in on its heels. So it'll be a matter of how much inroads the southerly wind can make. So there's that spike in precipitation chances on Thursday for you. Again, you do have a chance Monday night. This is kind of daytime precipitation. We'll keep an eye on that. So that's the way things break down for now. You can watch these chances of precipitation through the weekend by using our app. Get the uh, noises one degree outside weather for free on the App Store and Google Play. Hope you have a great weekend. We'll have your early morning update with you on Saturday. That'll just be kind of the nuts and bolts of your weekend forecast. See you at one degree outside.com. 